Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the beautiful town of Thermopolis and we're fishing the Bighorn River in Wyoming, expecting to catch some nice rainbow trout. So stick around, it should be a great show. I pulled a raft into the river and we're soon on our way. The anticipation was great. Come on, just a big 24 inch. Oh, down! <laughs> oh, oh, 24 inches? I didn't say did 4 say? inches. <laughs> Got me excited with that 24 inch oh. business. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. The heron was not impressed. Steve, try that heavier water over there. That looks good. Fish. Yeah. De decent. All right. Decent fish on the dropper. It's a bow, it looks like. Very awesome. He's got some weight to him, man. All right. Yeah. Come here. Nice bow. Nice bow. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Yep. Took the Copper John. Okay. Which is uh, in the caddis fly, basically. It's a nice little trout. We 13. All right. Nice 12, 13 inch rainbow. Good fighting fish. That's our first fish here on the Bighorn in Wyoming. And uh, hopefully that'll be an indicator of more to come. What I'm fishing with right now on the Bighorn is kind of a hopper dropper. This is a chubby. Uh, red chubby and I had one strike on that and about 18 inches, uh, 24 inches below that I have a copper john um, and that's what I caught that fish on. It's a nymph just below it. Yeah that's, that's a big oh fish. Gosh, that's a huge fish. big fish. Oh my gosh. That is a monster. Yes, it is. It's a monster. I like catching wow. the monsters. Wow. Here he goes. Okay. Now my blood is pumping. It's coming right at the boat. Coming right at the raft. Gosh. Woo, dogs. Oh, it's huge. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's a bow. That's a bow. Yeah, it's a, that's big a big bow. bow. Wow. That's a big bow. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah, got him. Wow, that's a big bow, folks. On the woolly bugger. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I thought I'd take a closer look at this fish. Look at this. Big. Nice. Yeah, that was an exciting battle, I tell ya. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, awesome, the, that's all I could say. On the woolly bugger? <laughs> yeah, it was on the woolly bugger. It's underneath the dry fly mm -hmm. indicator. And I was just started to strip it and boom, hit that thing. Awesome. It's outstanding. Cool. Yeah, very nice fish. This is a setup we were using. It's a, a dry fly, which we're mostly using as an indicator, even though they are hitting it. It's called a chubby. It has a red body on it. And trailing that uh, about three feet is a sparkly woolly bugger. And it seems to be working pretty well so far. Ah. Uh, Steve, what? what power lines? Oh, thank you. Gosh. I, well, I told you too late. I was trying to think of. Oh, oh, that was a fish. Darn it. On the nymph again. Steve made a cast under the watchful eye of an osprey. Fish. Nope. Rock. Fishing this Bighorn River in Wyoming, we've gone by some of the most unique scenery of any river we've ever floated. 
It's huge red cliffs. They're awesome to look at. Got him. Yeah. Took the dry. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep the boat positioned. Not a big fish, but it's nice. Yeah, cool. That's cool on the dry. Not too shabby. Yeah, no, that's great. It's awesome. Love it. Okay, get a little line on the guy here. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. That's a nice bow. Yeah, very nice. There he goes. Cool. Awesome. That was fun. Take on the dry. Gotta love that. Jeez. It went down. Fish. Right. Yep, nice, nice fish. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. On the woolly bugger. Gosh. You called it. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a back eddy over there that we can Everywhere. right over there that we can tuck into. Good job, man. Thanks. Whoa. Right under the raft. Okay. A, whoa, there it goes again, or, whoa. Yeah. Got it. <gasps> Shoot! It broke. Let's get in that back eddy. Darn it, it broke. On this trip, we stayed in Thermopolis, Wyoming which boasts the number one dinosaur museum in the U.S., as well as the world's largest hot springs. And you can pick up all the flies you need at the Wind River Canyon Fly Shop. Right there? Yeah, yeah it looks good. Oh, God! Did you... Oh, no. Shoot! Fish. I hooked into another nice rainbow. Fish on. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. yep. How's that for a good job? Do I still have it? I still do. It's a good bow. Look at that. Boy, I tell you, it's putting up a fight. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you can back real hard, Steve. Here he goes. Whoops. Yep, got him. The fish circled around the raft and was putting up quite a fight. I mean, this thing, I didn't look that big, but boy, he's fighting. I think that's bigger than you think it is. Yeah, that's a good bow. What am I talking about? It's a good bow. I reached for the net and brought the fish near. Uh, good heavens. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, partially in the net. Oh, but now he is in the net. Nice fish. Oh, it's a good bow. It is. Good bow. Wow, nice. Boy, that's a big, big rainbow. Man. Wow, that was exciting. Yes, yeah, I'm telling you. Um, fortunately for me this time, because I broke one off earlier because I got way too excited, but this time I just 
wasn't watching. And that's the key to catching fish, folks. You just don't pay any attention. Folks, look where we ended up here landing this fish. Because again, you can't um, get out, you can't set your anchor. So we got into a back eddy to land loud this fish and we ended up in this willow tree, which is actually kind of a cool spot, but. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, it seems like as the pendulum swings, we're getting into a, a time of more classic stuff. And this is a bat and kill click paw reel from Orvis. It's basically a, a nice trout reel without training wheels. There's no extra drag added. You can't add any more tension. So basically when you have a fish, all your tension is added by palming the reel. This is actually an older sage rod we're using. It's an SLT because of that soft, you know, forgiveness when you're setting the hook. It's a little bit slower on the line speed, so you have more delicate presentation. All these little things can add up, you know, a four weight or even a three weight on some of these stuff for, the, for a little dry or a little shallow nymph rig can really be fun. Added, if you're fishing a three weight, you know you have to be a little bit more speedy in fighting the fish and not wearing them out this time of year, but it really does add a lot of pleasure to, to the game. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yep. It's a good fish too. Awesome. Yeah, Let's very cool. See. I think I'm going to go to that side if it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's very interesting fishing in blue ribbon waters going right through town. Boy, he's right by the boat already. Whoa. Yeah, I tuck right in there. I noticed some people watching from their deck. I think I'll go How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Not too bad, I have a fish on. <laughs> Which is rare for me. Okay, here he goes. Woo! Whoa! Awesome. I think it might be a good fish. It's on the Copper John, the dropper fly. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow, what a fight. These yeah. fish in these rivers fight like crazy. After several minutes, I finally had the fish in the net. Oh, what a pig. It's just hard to hold this guy. So big and beautiful. Oh, oh what a battle. <laughs> what a battle, wow. that's all I can say. Yeah, oh. very cool. Beautiful rainbow, that was oh. so bright. I had no idea how big it was mm. until I finally saw it by the raft and it was huge and gorgeous. Huge and gorgeous, similar to what you're looking at right now, folks. <laughs> yeah, that was such a cool fish. I mean, my dry fly yanked under, but it was on the nymph and uh, put up a heck of a battle, but I didn't think it was that big until it got right next to the raft, then I knew it was a huge fish. And then that thing was just zooming all around the raft, under the raft, every which way. But I got it in. Journal man. <laughs> yeah, nice cast. Thank you. Should I cast on the edge again or let it ride? Uh, that's up to you. You got a good seam on the left side and the right side. There's kind of two, see that? Yeah. I don't know which is the best. Me neither. But you tried the inside one. Let it ride or you see anything else? Ah, uh, what? Ooh! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, shoot! Yeah. Steve, was that on the nymph? No, dry. The dry? Yep. Wow. Gosh. So that's whole back come up. Shoot. Darn it. Yes. Darn it is right. Oh, oh no. that bird. <laughs> Got me excited. Mm. That's a good spot. Now, if yeah. we can wade that island, that would be all right, too. Uh, we're going to get a wind test. Oh, Steve! Mm. Golly, that thing was a monster. Oh, it just, they're hidden, but they're not stuck. Oh, golly, I saw that one. Mm. Yeah. I'm seeing a little PMD floating down on the right, but. 
Oh, good. I waited. Heavens, I waited. he waited. I waited. Finally. He waited. It's a good bow. Yeah. yeah, we can land it right here too. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I think I finally waited long enough. Yeah, you really waited. Good job. Yep. Pull that raft up here. We got the raft. All right. Now I'm gonna get this bow. Yeah, let's get in the shallow water there. Yeah. I'm gonna hold him. You wanna just go out and get him? Sure. Yeah. This is a nice rainbow. Really nice rainbow. That's a beauty. Right, very cool, very cool. So using those dries, you can see these fish taking them. And, and when you see them, it's just so hard not to set the hook right, you know, right away. That's what you're used to, but the fly's floating down and they're coming up and the fly's gotta get in their mouth before you set the hook. Great job, Steve. Yeah, yeah I saw the soft riffle just right off this little log and I cast into that thing. And my dry fly indicator just went whoosh, and boy, it was a good fish, good rainbow. There it is. It's a good, it's a good fish again. Thanks. All right. Awesome. Gosh. Yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Got them too. All right. Gosh, all these fish are just so beautiful and healthy. Nice. nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just cast that dry fly toward shore, and then I, I, I don't even think I stripped it. I think I just went down and just boom, set the hook, and you can just feel the head shake. It was a lot of fun. Fish. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Yep. You're gonna be going through a raft. Okay, that's fine. We were just coming out of a slow pool and the water was picking up and heading into a riffle when that fish hit. Good. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. That was cool. Yes, yeah, it looks like a good rainbow. Sure. Good fighting fish. Oh yeah, good fighting fish. Good fighting fish on the woolly bugger again. Okay. Yeah, that's a big fish, man. I was ready with the net and Steve had the fish close. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You ready? Nice. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Good job. Yeah, look at the size of that fish. Gosh, that's a big fish. Fat, huge, healthy. Man, that's a good three pound fish, I think. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. There it goes. You know, I just switched to the other side in the other, a little bit heavier current, and just one cast later, hooked that fish. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a fantastic day here on the Bighorn, Wyoming, and uh, catching a lot of fish and had a lot of fun. So please join us next week on Fishing with Latin. <laughs> We're going to keep fishing. Ha ha ha, Steve. <laughs> All right. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>